How SOLIDWORKS can help you in school. Are you taking a class dealing with thermodynamics or heat transfer? If you are, this video will show which SOLIDWORKS tutorials can help you in your class. To view these tutorials, open a new part and go under Tools, Add-ins, and select SOLIDWORKS Simulation and SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation. Thermodynamics and heat transfer can be analyzed either in simulation for cases without influential fluid flow or in flow simulation for cases with fluid flow. The simulation tutorials can be found under Help, then SOLIDWORKS Simulation and Tutorials. Select Frequency, Buckling, and Thermal from the screen on the right. The tutorials to focus on are the thermal analysis in the first column, then all of the tutorials in the second column. These show the setup of boundary conditions and the use of conduction, convection, and radiation with SOLIDWORKS simulation. If practice problems are wanted for thermodynamics or heat transfer, go under Help, then SOLIDWORKS Simulation, Validation, and then Verification Problems. Under Thermal, there are a wide variety of problems that can be used to practice what is being taught in class. Typical problems seen from those types of classes are ones like heat transfer from a cooling fin and radiation of a rod. The flow tutorials for thermodynamics and heat transfer can be found under Help, SOLIDWORKS Simulation, then Flow Simulation Online Tutorial. If that option is not visible, make sure that SOLIDWORKS Flow Simulation has been added in. The three tutorials that are useful when dealing with thermodynamics or heat transfer are Conjugate Heat Transfer, Heat Exchange Efficiency, and Radiative Heat Transfer. All of these tutorials have the potential to help you analyze thermodynamics or heat transfer as well as giving you the skills needed to solve any similar type problem that is encountered.